back for another video. As you all can see by the title, today's video is going to be an introduction to luxury. I cannot tell you how many times I've either had someone DM me and ask me, like, how can I get into luxury? I feel like you just buy all this stuff, but like, how can you afford it? Um, I want to buy luxury things, but I'm not trying to break the bank. All kinds of conversations I have had with people. Um, over the years, especially when I worked in an office setting. Um, as you guys know, I'm a luxury lover. So I've always worn luxury items or had luxury in some kind of shape, form or fashion, even when my bank account was not at a level to necessarily, you know, splurge. I would always kind of allot a small budget to get myself something. Um, even if it's back in the day in my early 20s when I would get paid in every paycheck, I would allot $50 to go get myself something. Don't know what it was, but it had to be luxury and $50 was my budget. Over the years, things have changed. That budget now has a comma in it and I'm pleased. <laughs> but that's not where everyone is. And I feel like I want to share with you guys, especially those of you who have been watching me and your moms um, or you're younger and you're just kind of starting out on this kind of journey. You want to tap into your black girl luxury, your black girl magic, you know what I'm saying? But you also don't want to break the bank. Um, I think that social media can kind of consume us to the point where we think that we got to be spending our whole paychecks on stuff and you really don't. Um, I've kind of carved out some categories that I want to show you that are, you know, I mean, things that are under $300, you know what I'm saying? For the most part, the last thing we'll discuss, but these are just things that I think the everyday woman can afford or carve out to afford in her budget that are luxurious, that will bring you that sense of like oomph, if you will, without you having to just break the bank. Um, I just think it's not worth doing that. Um, I know, like I said, we see on social media all the time, luxury this, luxury, 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 and that's great. But I just don't want people to feel like they got to break the bank to have these items or have these things. It's very important to build. Um, so I want to share with you guys some of the categories that I stuck in for a long time when I, you know, started my luxury journey. Um, I have been collecting luxury things for over 14 years now. So yeah, that's that. But these are the categories that I stuck in for a very, very long time because the budget just wasn't there to be dropping commas on bags and commas on bracelets and commas on $600 for shoes. That's just not where my budget was. And even with my budget having a comma in it now, bitch, I'm not spending $600 on shoes. I'm just saying. But these are just the categories that I think you should look into if you are looking to kind of start a luxury journey, get into luxury, tap into luxury, or have a couple of more luxurious pieces without breaking the bank. So I'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna jump into it. All right, so my first category would be fragrance. If you're trying to step into the luxury world, you don't necessarily wanna break the bank and you kind of want to have something that you can use every day or on a regular basis, I think fragrance is your first place to start. Y'all know how I feel about a good Chanel fragrance. Today, I'm gonna mention Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle, and I'm gonna mention a couple of components. So stepping into luxury, yes, getting a good fragrance is everything, but girl, let's say your budget really isn't there to spend 135. I think Chanel may be 140, 145 now for these bottles of perfume. Let's say that's not where your budget is. And you're like I was in my early 20s. I would only allot $50 per pay period to pick up something. There are some other components that you can try. I love the Coco Mademoiselle Chanel Body Lotion. This complements this so well. So if you want the fragrance, but you don't want to break the bank, I think this is $50 or $55. Very nice, very luxurious, perfect for date nights, perfect if you just want to lather and slather yourself in it to smell good and give yourself a quick pick-me-up out of the shower. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous scent. And it's actually a very emollient um, moisturizer. So I find that this works really well on my skin as well, but it's under 
a hundred dollars it's not going to break the bank and it's going to give you that nice luxurious feel sticking with fragrance let's say your budget isn't 50 and you can go a little over 50 but you don't want to hit 100 the Coco Mademoiselle body cream. Not just this one, but fragrance luxury body creams in general are great. I have been using the Coco Mademoiselle uh, body cream for several years. I want to say this is like my third jar of it. Um, I use this more so in the winter time though, when I want to um, use something that is a little bit thicker, but I love this. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it, um, but I love this. This again is not a hundred bucks. So if your budget is a little higher per pay period and you can spend a hundred or so, this is worth um, checking out. It's very, very emollient. Like this is good when it comes to like luxurious lotions, but the body cream is very nice and the texture is okay, good. So my next category would be beauty. Again, this was a category I stayed in for years. If you've been watching my videos for quite some time, you guys know when I started making luxury videos, I spoke about beauty and fragrance, luxury beauty and luxury fragrance. This is a category that I stuck in for a while because again, I was not, I just didn't have the budget to spend over $50 a pay period. And so I would find things that I liked Something that I fell in love with years ago was luxury lip products, the Dior lip products to be specific. I am currently right now on my lips wearing with a lip liner, the Lip Maximizer in the color Mahogany. This is $35. I also love their Lip Glow Balm. Mine is in the shade Berry and this is also $35. So if the budget is at 50 and you don't want to break the bank, but you want to get yourself nice something nice this uh particular that particular pay period i can't, i feel like you can't go wrong with luxury lip products uh chanel makes great lip products um who else makes some really really nice uh luxurious lip products Givenchy. you could definitely find some good ones for well under 50 bucks so lip product blush love a good blush you guys know i have been loving this dior blush as of lately this is 44 dollars. it's not going to break the bank but if you want to add a little luxury to your beauty routine i think you cannot go wrong with a good dior blush i like the chanel ones too this is in uh whoops this is in nine what is it 962 passion matte this is so good i'm sorry it's poison matte this is a really really good um blush for women of color i love it i think adding a nice blush to your beauty routine can add a bit of luxury to your life again without breaking the bank another thing that i like in the luxury category and i'm gonna share all three of these with you guys because they're all from burberry are foundations and eye products so like eyeshadow eyeliner things like that this is the burberry foundation and this is the beauty with this you guys I actually found these um, at Nordstrom Rack. So I have two of them. I have the matte version and I also have the dewier version. And I got them from Nordstrom Rack for $14.97. So that's another thing. If you're trying to step into luxury, kind of feel, feel the room out. You know what I'm saying? Get online. Use Google for what she for. You know what I'm saying? Like find uh places that can sell you discounted things or i had no idea nordstrom rack had any of these luxurious burberry products but when i came across them i picked them up and i kid you not everything i got i don't even think added up to a hundred dollars i've also loved the burberry eyeshadow sticks this was 14 dollars, i think or nine 9.97 at nordstrom rack another way to just add some luxury to your day-to-day -day life so this is their eyeshadow i love yes. it beauty products are another way to kind of step in the world of luxury without breaking the bank now the next category is small leather goods so everything i'm going to show you today is from louis vuitton but nothing is over 300 dollars that's another thing when it when you're moving from like the beauty stuff and you're kind of going into small leather goods handbags accessories i honestly say find a price point and stick to it y'all know for me right now with like pre-love luxury accessories i'm not going over 300 that's just where i set my budget when it comes to handbags i don't go over 2500 new or pre-loved i'm not going over 2500 that's just where i'm at it's not gonna happen leave me alone about it don't ask me no questions stop that's what it is so set a budget for yourself 
and know that every year changes, right? Like my particular profession, I get a raise every year. I get an annual bonus, like a large bonus. So you can take those things and kind of spread them out um, to afford the luxurious things that you want without breaking the bank. But let's get to these SLGs. So first, I want to speak to the most recent purchase of mine. That would be the Louis Vuitton business card holder. This is $2.95. If you're looking to add a nice, luxurious wallet to your collection without breaking the bank, I think this is a great place to start. Now, I got this because I just did not need a large wallet. I didn't necessarily get it for the price point, but the price point is nice you know what i'm saying so to get a wallet for under 300 dollars from louis vuitton is a really good steal so highly recommend this wallet as well but if you are looking to add a luxury accessory you don't want to break the bank and your budget is like you know three or four hundred dollars or less that's all i'm gonna spend this definitely hits that price point. Next up are a good card holder and a key pouch or some kind of like keep all pouch, if you will. Um, I use my card holder every single day. It has like necessities, insurance cards, nail stamping cards, coupons in here. Love this. This was $220. Again, under that $300 price point, if your price point is $200, Louis Vuitton may not have nothing for you, okay? <laughs> but there are other luxury brands that carry card holders that are right at that $200 um, dollar price point or like a little under, specifically Burberry. And of course, just the key holder. These are $270 now. When I bought mine, it was $220. So I don't know if this is exactly where I would go when it comes to a key holder. I'll be honest. The six key holder is $265. Um, $5 cheaper, but I feel like it's a little Little more versatile however right now mine just holds coins in it but it does have this key hook so if you're looking for something that can hold your keys and a multitude of other things and you want to stay under $300 this is a nice luxurious product to purchase all right my next category is like luxury accessories so y'all know what I'm gonna talk about let's just talk about um sunglasses specifically well, I'm not going to say specifically Fendi because Tom Ford makes good ones. Uh, Chloe makes good ones. I have uh, Celine sunglasses, Dior sunglasses, whatever. The reason I'm mentioning sunglasses specifically is because now you can find them at an excellent price point. When I first started purchasing them, yes, girl, they used to be three, four hundred dollars. But you've got places like Nordstrom Rack, Saks Off Fifth, um, Neiman Marcus last call that sell designer luxury sunglasses for under $200. I got these for $119 from Nordstrom Rack. So if you're looking to add a little luxury, but you don't want to break the bank, I think sticking in the category of sunglasses is a good way to go. Next up, I would say jewelry. So not, okay. I don't buy all fashion jewelry. I just don't. Um, I have sensitive ears. I have sensitive skin. I need real jewelry or high quality. So I don't necessarily, I've told y'all before, do the Hermes click clacks and things like that. But I love leather. This is a Ferragamo leather wrap bracelet. And it is the Vara bow bracelet. I've had it for a few years. I love it. And this was under $200. Ferragamo currently well not currently but oftentimes goes on sale i think they do it like twice a year and so i was able to get this for my birthday one year for 160 bucks and i wear it all the time with when i'm trying to jazz things up or if it goes with my outfit and it's just subtle but really nice and luxurious and has lasted so nice over the years and barely has any wear on it. So if you are looking to kind of get into luxury, you don't want to break the bank, you want a, a nice jewelry piece, definitely look into leather jewelry from any of the fashion houses, but Ferragamo makes a great um, wrap bracelet. And then last in the accessories category, I feel like this is the ultimate luxurious accessory and it is the Chanel mirror. I've had mine for years. I can't tell you how many people I've seen pull this out of their bag or have it in their bag and what's in my bag videos. This is the ultimate like luxurious accessory. It is $42 or $44. I just recently bought one for my mom for Christmas. 
I cannot tell y'all how many times I have pulled this out in the most random places, restaurants, you know, car dealership, waiting in the lobby. And somebody is like, oh my God, where did you get that from? I just love that. It's just the ultimate, ultimate like luxury accessory that's not going to break the bank. So if you're looking to add a little luxury to your life, but you don't want to be spending hundreds of dollars, the Chanel dual facet compact mirror is definitely worth the spend. Okay, last but not least, I want to mention handbags. I honestly am a firm believer that you can have a luxurious handbag without spending a thousand dollars. I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. I know the world of YouTube and social media will have you thinking otherwise, but you definitely can. And I have mentioned this bag over the years so many times. This this particular like bag videos that I've done on this bag are some of my highest viewed videos. And it's none other than this handbag here, the MCM Liz Shopper Tote. Mine is in the medium. Listen, when I got this bag, it was $590. It has since gone up in price. I think it's like $695. But if you are looking to add a luxury handbag to your collection, you don't want to spend a comma on a bag and you want to get more than one bag? Sis, this is where you start. Get yourself the MCM Liz Shopper Tote. Number one, it's huge. Number two, it comes with a huge secondary bag. Girl, if you're stepping into luxury, this is the way to do it because you're getting two in one without spending a comma. Okay? Okay? Do what I'm telling you to do, okay? And get this bag. I have worn this out. I've worn it for years. You guys know that. I will link the videos of me uh, discussing simply just this, reviewing this bag, what's in my bag. I will leave all those things linked for you. But I think if you're trying to step in the world of luxury, you do not want to break the bank. Get yourself a good bag from a luxury designer that's under $1,000. There are ones that are under five. The Alexander Wang Rocco, I got that bag for like $260. It was supposed to be a thousand, like it retailed for a thousand. I got the bag for 260. So check preloved um, options. But if you want something that is brand new, I feel like you cannot go wrong with the MCM Liz Shopper Tote, y'all. You just can't. All right, you guys, those are my categories and items that I think can kind of push you in the world of luxury without you breaking the bank. If there's anything that you saw specifically that you want me to go into more detail on, just let me know in the comments below. As always, if you're an oldie but goodie, Thank you guys so much for coming back and joining me. And if you're new, don't forget to hit the subscription button on your way out. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.